Good morning. I'm uh, the Director of Emergency Medicine at Alice Springs Hospital. Uh, I've also just been recently elected to the Deputy Chair position of the National Rural Health Alliance. Uh, I'm also the Vice President of the AMA in the Northern Territory as well. So I wear a few different hats. <laughs> you do wear some hats. Okay. So can you tell me the issues that you'll be bringing to the summit here today, particularly with a focus on what's happening in, that, in not Alice Springs alone, but the Northern Territory? Oh, absolutely. Look, mental health is a key priority area across the board and it's actually a key priority for the National Health Alliance as well. Uh, what I'm looking to get out of this is really just to improve our health care for uh, mental health patients across the board. What do you see as the issues there? What, what goes wrong and what goes right there? Well access to care in rural areas is, is hugely problematic. Uh, the further away you get from a city centre the, the less access to care that you can get, especially specialist care. In the Northern Territory there's the unique challenges of Indigenous populations where connection to land and country is really important and so are your family connections. So if you need to move long distances to access mental health care, you're taken away from all your supports. So what we're really trying to do is make sure that people can access the care that they need close to home. And can you give us a glimpse of how that is working actually where you work in Alice Springs? What, what, is, what happens on a daily basis that you see that is distressing for, for people who present but also for staff? Well, we can get people, there's a few different issues and one of them is actually transporting acutely unwell patients and you know, it's a long plane ride, average of hour and a half to two hours to get to Alice Springs in a small plane, usually with a sedative aboard. They arrive to the ED, they're away from the home, away from family, away from their friends, all the support. And then sometimes there can be quite long delays to actually accessing an inpatient bed. So people can stay there for a while. Uh, Alice Springs has reasonably good access across the board, but that's not the same as most EDs in Australia, unfortunately. And are you coming here with some ideas for what will help? Uh, have you seen good practice in different places? Have you read about it in different countries? What, what are you hoping to What I'm hoping to do is explore some different ways of managing this. Um, one of the things I've, I've seen recently, which I think is really quite a good idea, is having the drop-in cafe clinic idea, where people can access care without the stigma of actually having to go to the hospital or go through the ED, can can talk to therapists and psychologists and have their problems dealt with in a more informal sort of way. Uh, is that what you, that's at St Vincent's here? Is that what you're I talking about? I believe that's where it's being run yeah, at the yeah. moment. Yeah, it, it's a very promising trial and I'm, and I'm hoping to learn more about it today. And the Northern Territory is also moving to a target of 12 hours um, maximum stay in an emergency department. How, how are you preparing for that and what will it actually take to, and what, what are you bringing it down from to start with? Well, we're, what it's going to take is we're going to take more resources really. Um, all of our units in the Northern Territory are, are small and have been not grown as well as they should have over the last couple of years. So we're hoping to address that. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Now you're on the first panel, um, so we look forward to hearing from you today uh, and perhaps we'll catch up later in the day. Thanks very much for talking. Thank you very much.